Hello and welcome back to Timberborn. And today we have some bulbs here. And what I want to do is actually expand this little uh, trench or little irrigation river that we are building here and bring this all the way through here. So this will be a way to easily um, help with this river here if we need more water over there without like having to lower down uh, this area so that will help us in here because from time to time we do have to come in here and let the water just flow through it so we can actually fill this little area and I think this will make this a little bit more useful actually so that's the idea there so yeah there we go um, that'll be something that we'll be working today but that is also something new that just happened and that I need to talk through a little bit. Maybe if, there we go, where is the dynamite? There we go, that wasn't too hard this time. <laughs> but uh, we actually just, well, yeah, I just got an um, update for the game. So the game is now out on version 1.1. It's not what we are playing here, and there is a big reason for that. If we do, and that's not what I want, or is it? And that's the one, yeah, like, it, it's hard for me to talk and do things at the same time. How hard can that be? <laughs> but if we update for the new version, then we have a big problem, actually, because the save won't work anymore. So that's the thing there that's the reason why i actually haven't done anything yet and i want to hear your thoughts on this because is it something that's worth doing like just uh stopping this colony maybe creating another one with the new beavers or should we actually uh, finish this one or at least i don't know build more and uh focus on getting these like into a much better state before we we do anything like that i really really want to hear your opinion about that because i think this will help us and um, well basically do all of this so if you feel like yeah it's worth throwing this all away and starting a basically a new campaign or a new game so we could have fun or at least knowing what we need to do and how we need to do things here it would be a little bit easier for us to just get things done and or build a different colony with different challenges so yeah would I like really love your your opinion on that i i would really appreciate that so let me know and then we will make a decision if we abandon this one go to the correct branch of the game and then uh, start a new one in a different map as well that brings like a lot of different challenges and you can uh, work differently. There is a lot of new things on the new update as well and I think that will be really really good for us if we when we actually go into a new branch. But if you're keen on seeing what happens here then we can stay here and see how this goes. Like no right and wrong, right? So it should be all good. And do we have enough dynamite? We do. All right. We have plenty of dynamites, actually. So another thing that I want to do is to actually change this. I feel like we should extend this over there as well. And now I'm going a little bit crazy on the landscaping here. I want to go maybe all the way here and bring this all the way there so we don't actually need the irrigation tower, at least this one. I think that'll be okay if we remove that. If it, is it, if it isn't, then I think we should be fine as well. Like there, there won't be a big issue over there. Now for this one, I wonder why they are not actually prioritizing that so maybe if i just do this 
they will bring the dynamites in here. We have two. All right. Like this is my priority. So please do that. They, they are going just over there. Maybe it's, it's because we don't have ropes in here. Although this one is like just walking through all of this. So not really sure. Let's bring them a pathway and see if that helps. Like we have dynamites in here to remove that little bit over there. We should be all right. And we are flooding. All right. Why are we flooding? Did I close this? No, this is just a den. Why are we flooding? And we shouldn't flood, to be honest. Like the water should just go through over there. Maybe it was just like too much. Yeah, it looks like it's sort of stopped. Come on, water. You can you can go through. What's happening? Yeah, that's just a dam, so it should just flow through over there as it is right now. And this is all filled. That's good. There we go. The water just went away. It's probably like the a wave that just came in and wait. That's probably what happened there. Now these, I'll let some water go through again. And we are almost done here. What I want to do is basically detonate. Deton mm, I want to finish that. Before I do, oh, I forgot this. Stop it. That was a little bit too much. Maybe we do detonate this. Let's see. Ah, that'll be all right. Yeah, that's all good. Oh, look at that. But the water will come back, so it should be all right. That is not a big issue. How is this going? It's not going at all. So maybe bring a pathway. Where to bring a pathway over here? Would that be enough for them to bring the dynamites in here? Although we don't have any. What do we make then actually? We are making I forgot. Is it here? Explosives factory. Yes, it is here. Oh, that's that might be why we are not doing it in here. Because that's in the other district. We need two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. We don't have a way to transfer this. Oh, I'll, I'll wait to have some in stock and then we can basically do it. I think that'll be all right. We can just increase priority on those two and then I can detonate all of this. And then we have more water flowing through there. There we go. All right, here we go. And, or maybe we should go here. I think that'll be even fun. But I need to press the button. So we slow things down, and here we go. Ooh, that's so cool. That's pretty cool. I, I, I just love seeing that. There we go. And the water is flowing through over there, which is great. And then we can actually let more water go. Well, zero wasn't exactly what I wanted there, so I guess close it again and wait for this to feel a little bit more. One is more than enough. And yeah, it should start coming, and there we go. It started flooding as well. Now, I don't know if I make this like a pathway around this as well, or if I leave it like, like it is at the moment. Or even if we can actually turn this off. Can I turn this off? Ah, yeah. Oh, up there. I've forgotten how to do that. <laughs> but yeah, that should be good. Then we need to send, well, we don't have any dynamite. So we, we have to wait for that. And then we should be all right. We just need to finish this area and then we should be good. But to make that happen, we need to build one of those, the distribution post, and actually 
send it to this area, right? And that's a drop-off point. Do we have a distribution post already in there? Because otherwise, why would we have... Yeah, that's odd. All right, let's build a distribution post. That is distribution post. What do we need for that? Uh, well, nothing much. Oh, we do have it over there. Yeah, my bad. All right. So that'll be too easy. One route to add a new one, rather, to here. And we do... Where is that? Explosives. There we go. And if I can set the limit of this to 10. There we go. We don't need too many over there. Like that, that's probably all that we need. So I'm happy with this. And three, six, seven, ten. Yeah, that's all we need, really. We just need that. But until we get there, then we should be alright. Oh, we used all the scrap except this one. This is something that's new in the new update. You have actually mines, so you won't like just run out of that. And nothing to do in range. Well, we should have one in there, right? Well, now you don't have something to do. Yeah, they'll finish that. I'll probably can, or they'll take turns. I'll wait for, ah, there we go. They'll do it. They'll probably have to, no goods in stock, no goods in stock. All right, so we can remove this. We can remove this. Now, the problem is we don't need paper um, for this. What do we need the explosives for? This makes metal blocks. All right, so we don't actually need anything else for explosives. Cool. So I'm not going to... Uh, mine anywhere else i think that'll be more than enough and we are full on logs over there so that means that we might need more let me get another one not a lumber mill no actually it should be storage right yeah log pile it could be in here that'll be pretty far could be in here but again far how do we get this? Well, could still do this, I guess. Should be alright. It's far, but it's enough. Uh, this is turned off. We don't have any problems with water right now. That's fantastic, which means that say goodbye. Yes, and we have a bit more space back in here. Now, we still need to do this before I can turn this off, but I think this helps this area as well. So we might... Oh, we have water from here. So we might don't need that. So again, that gave them some water. Whoops, that was a bit too much. <laughs> Let's equilibrate things and make it uh, not just flow outside, I guess. This is still okay. We are getting the air like it's just, just so close. What do we need that? Come on, just finish building this. Thank you. Just two more and we are done. I might do, well, some pathways in here. Oh, actually, we don't need that. Like, they, they'll come. They'll just wait for the uh, explosive to be built. Now, this needs paper. We have enough paper, right? So it should be all right. It's just really a matter of getting people to do the job. Um, talk about people to do the job. Do we have a distribution post and maybe a holding post, actually? That's what I want. But we do have one in here, holding post. All right. We could get more people doing that. 
I think that would be very, very uh, useful for us. So we can get, for example, more, more paper in here. We don't have a storage in there, right? And do we have paper in here? Yeah, we do have paper in there. That's good. So this is coming along quite nicely. I'm looking at this and looks like we might need more water. And thinking about this, well, first of all, this is not going to work anymore. But I could add another one in here, like increase this platform and then build on top of that. I think that's exactly what I'll do. So what I'm saying, like maybe this will look slightly easier if I just do it. Build a platform in here and maybe a more so we still have the pathway in there. Oh, we might actually get, oh, we can get a pathway through there. All right. So we might not need that actually, but I'll have it anyway, like this. I think that'll be uh, helpful for us. We could also have something like another pump in here, for example. And I think I would do that. And now, whereabouts? Let's see where we can bring that in. So, all right, would fit in there. So maybe we add it over there, bring a new pathway here. I might just remove those pathways just because we don't need that. And then could have a small water tank over here for anyone that's actually in here. There we go. So for everyone that's working in here, they have a place to get some water from there. Now, I think we can't connect this, but we could do a gate in there. Let me see. Yeah, must, need, must uh, use a gate so we can do that. And they can walk through here if they want to. I think that would be nice to have it over there. Explosives all set. So let's detonate this one as well. And let's detonate that one. Cool. Love it. Now, to make things work, I want to build this. And what else? Well, not there. Not yet, at least. And then I will, well, basically do this over here, this over there. And then we can delete this path and then we can blow it up. That's what I'm looking to do here. And that's why I put this one over there. So they have a way to, to cross when I remove that. And I am thinking that we might want... Hmm... That'd be interesting. Uh, it's not a levy that I want. It's probably a floodgate in there. Just so we have a way to let water go through and to also block the water. That's the idea there. Let's bring some water again and close this off. All right. That's actually done. Fantastic. <laughs> Just this one needs to be done and then we will be done. Uh, we still need the explosive though. That's why it's taking a little bit longer. So maybe we just block this completely at the moment before we do anything else. But this is coming along quite nicely. I, I just love it. This is also coming along quite nicely. So it should be all right. What I'll do here, just to make things ready, I'll do this one, this one, and when they finish, we can, when they finish this, actually, we can just remove everything, and then we add a new explosive when we have that. So, it should be alright. Now, I'd love to be able to do this automatically. Unfortunately, we can't use something to detect it, detect water level, and then enable and disable this so yeah unfortunately we have to deal with that 
And for this one, we need another water pump. There we go. There we go. The only problem there is that this will be connected to this area instead of there, which is deeper, but that's fine. I think we'll, we'll survive. And then how many people do we have unemployed? Zero. We need more beavers. And in here we have quite a lot, actually. Can we employ more of them somewhere? Like here, workshop. No. Um, we need power, all right? We don't have these. Oh, is it all done manually? All right. I guess we do need power at the end. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just looking if there is anything else that we can actually add to here that would um, help them. Maybe don't we have a holder's build in here like this one? The holding post? Are you serious that we don't have that? I can see anywhere. Unless I... Oh, there we go. I was about to say, unless I'm blind. Yes, I'm blind. Let's get more people working on that. that. That will help a little bit. But we do need more people, more beavers in this area. And I'm thinking that we could actually work in here. If we, for example, bring the path over there and maybe leave a gap for, I don't know, some sort of... Um, Stair that go up if we want to do that. And or maybe we build by the water. Oh, you know what? I think I'll build it over here. And then we can definitely add some more ways to, to cross over here. I want another one over there, another one probably over here. In here like plenty of options for them not sure over here yet we have this would be the middle so i might do like a couple and we do this this and that so they can run around a lot faster there we go they are using that a lot more so house let's build some house for them here i feel like we might need water as well there and I feel like a large water tank would actually be slightly better. And we can do it right here. And that would mean that we need a pathway connecting over there. Now, can we fit smaller ones in here? I don't think so. This one. Well, we could do this, right? But do we need that? That's the, the biggest question there. I don't think so, not for the moment. So let's see what we can do here. Um, let's go for housing, good. We have the mini lodges, we have the double lodges and the triple lodges. Triple lodges will go pretty high and they will connect there. The mid lodges will have a double floor and there is this one, but they, they have to... Err. All right, I don't want this on the other level. Maybe if we had this over here, but then there would be no point for that. So I'm thinking about those. And how did it do on the other side? Yeah, we did use this one. And I might skip that one. And might skip that one and then we do it the other way around there you go now at the back here we could well could do a few things could bring another pathway but i don't think i want that right now what i might do i might block these and create more buildings for them like the way I think we can go about that is basically building a bunch of those 
platforms. Let's see if that works before I, I do it. Then go back into housing and then we do, you know what? Triple lodge there would be quite nice. There'll be a lot of beavers though. I don't know if we need all of that, but it'll be pretty cool to have it in here. Although this would be up again. So maybe, oh, you know what? We could do more of those actually. And do we go on the other side? I think I will. And then we go on this side. And then at the back, we do this. Oh, that's exactly what I'll do. And then we need, well, for the moment, we need just this over here. So we can do a little bit more of those as well. Go back at housing, get the triple lodge, build this one over there, get the lodge. And then, yeah, that's the one that we need. This will be pretty cool, I guess. And we can make another entrance in here, looking at this. Oh, that's nice. So we can get a stair over there. And this will be like a shortcut for them. Then we have to go over here. Although, this have to go there, this have to go there. I'll keep it this way for the moment. This one will have to come in here. Oh, that'll be a bit of a challenge. And that drop of three days is coming. All right. So maybe we do... It's not coming like it started. All right, we can go in here, bring it there, make a pathway there, and everyone's happy, I guess. Yeah, I think that'll work. So we don't block anyone. Now, in here, the reason why I didn't do anything is... Do I want to bring this over here or just go straight and do leave this area open? Because we then have, well, this can access and I think when we finish this side, we can go down here and connect over there or some more or less like that or just go through here. Although that won't be possible. Yeah, I don't know yet how, how we're going to do this, but we will manage. Uh, let's see decoration here, like fence, let's get this fence. I don't know if I'll use this, but plank fence, log fence, and metal fence, oh, that's nice. Uh, talking about decoration, we have the bench that we could add here or there. We have the pot flowers that could go in here. You know what? I think I'll get those two in there. Scarecrow, no, I don't want that. And maybe... Ooh, look at that area of effect. That's actually pretty good. So, yeah, this one will go right in the middle. What do we need for that? Like, it's a lot of research for just that. But I'm doing it. I, I'm definitely doing it. And then, well, we could use this one over here. And then we bring another pathway just over there. And we keep going that way. I think that's the way to go. All right, this looks pretty good. And this will give us, give us a lot of new um, employers. Not employers, employees. Uh, that'll be pretty cool to see. Now let me bring this down a little bit and use more water over there. I think everyone will appreciate the water being refreshed. Oh, there we go. We can detonate this. And the water will flow through there, which is great. And now we have a way to bring water through here. And this won't die as well. Uh, this is just a water tank, yes, good. So then we can actually bring this back over there. They will do this like pretty quickly. So we can just go ahead and 
demolish these in a second. There we go. And remove this path. Remove this path. Everyone is happy. And I'll probably remove all of that as well. Might as well do it this way. Yeah, thank you. Alright, this is all sorted at least. Looks pretty good. I just... Oh, I love this area. <laughs> we need more water now that we actually expanded this a little bit. So let's bring some more water through the gates over there. Oh, it's not coming any more water through here at 1.5. So let's use one. Should be finished in half a day or rather two days. So that's more than enough water in there as well, which is fantastic, which then give us this. Now, I'll wait for the flood to finish before I do this one. And the reason why I want you to do this one, it's because I want more space for water in here. So we don't run out, run out of water so quickly. We could do more. Uh, we have 10, like I could, for example, remove this area. Although we don't have any pump in there at the moment. But we could uh, deepen this, or maybe this area actually, would be a great place for that. You know what? Let's start doing this. So, detonate this one. There we go. And let's do some more landscaping in here. Now, this will go all the way over there and there. Which then probably means that we have to rebuild those water towers. But, you know what? That's fine. How... Yeah, this marker here might need to go as well. So remove the marker. Yeah, go away. And I'll remove this one. We have plenty of water at the moment, so it's all good. And then when we... I think I'll do this, and then we remove this water tower, and then we do another one. It should be all right. Maybe just do this one, please and we would be good. Can I get there? Or maybe we need like a little stair over here. I don't know if they can get in there without like going into the water. So that's why I'm actually doing this. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I also increased their working time to 19 hours instead of, I think 16. Like, there was a lot of time that they were not doing anything, and I think it was good that we could use that for better things. Let's, let's just say better things. I think that would be pretty good. And we are at 9 of well-being. Like, probably could start making bread and create some of those monuments. And I think, yeah, we don't have any monuments, so we could definitely do that as well. There they go. They can go down in the water and finish that. We have four uh, remaining dynamites, so it should be more than enough for us, which then reminds me, I think we can finish this. Yes, we can. So let's detonate that, remove this path, and detonate that one as well. And we are almost done with our, well, at least this phase of the um, the landscaping. So let's do this. There we go. More water, please. Can't be happier about that. Then bring this one in. Oh, they will do this in all time. So I'll remove. Oh, hold up. Yeah, you know what? I'll remove this. It should be alright. And then we do dynamite in here as well. And then probably around here, I guess. I just want this area to be deeper so we can, can have more water stored in there. That's the only reason why I'm doing that. And this one I'll prioritize as well. So we have this done quite faster. So we have a five day drop again. I didn't even notice that we we're going to have another drop. Otherwise, I would have get some more water in there. 
which of them anyway and why are we not getting more water there that's interesting all right maybe we didn't have time to fill the whole lake and we had another drought maybe just maybe there you go this is done so let's detonate let's build another water pump in there we have 15 unemployed beavers interesting and i think i've managed this to prioritize harvesting and harvesting planting yeah we have one for planting in there so we actually plant a little bit faster and then we always have food coming in here which we do have like a lot of food so maybe what we could have more are actually potatoes if we're creating more farms around here do we need to change this into a potato field or maybe this as i know that we will always have water in there that might be something to do to be honest let's build that so i can remove this one should be easily done like we have a lot of uh planks and wood in there so that's not a problem with that said i could even remove these trees from here that might be what i actually do and plant potato in there this one remove as well please yep there we go all sorted and how is this going we still need some dynamites in there but it's coming and then i will just remove those extra bits in there and everything will be well so yeah there we go oh i forgot to remove this one as well thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you. And oh, not gonna be thinking about it. We could actually make all the roads to be. Oh, look! This is what I'm thinking. We are making these uh, lines of water, right? But we can build a pathways on top of that. What if we make them to be the roads? And then we have those platforms on top of everything. That basically mean that we could, well, have everything, all the water and irrigation to be in that row, like next to the river. That'll be, oh, that's such a great idea. <laughs> I love when I have good ideas. So I think what we could do, I will start from the middle and we work our way uh, through the corners. I, I won't finish this all right now, but we will definitely do this. I want you to at least give us an indication so I can remember what I should do here. Otherwise, well, you know me. I won't remember. So I might remove those as well. Just so, again, I can remember what I'm doing. Yes. Maybe even, no, I'll, I think I'll, I'll keep those. And then dynamites in there. We actually need more dynamites. I think that's what we need. And if I look, we just have one, right? We need another building. We have enough paper actually, so why not building another one? An explosives factory, that's what I want. And this can go just in the back there we make this one what do we need to build that planks gears metal blocks do we have that gears planks and metal blocks yeah we have all of that that's great actually and do we have enough power for this so demand 309 out of 520 have enough so we should be good i believe we could even build like another one there but this would be 
pretty high priority. We need a lot of explosives to do this. We need a lot of explosives. And then we add power. That's what I want. So can't go closer. Might build another one in there to be honest. And then we do, I want to do one there, one here, and then connect straight there. Just because we can. And maybe what I'll say is distribute power more intelligently. And why are you actually getting that building first? Or you're probably bringing planks in, planks in there. We need more gears. We do have those gears, so please bring that up. Unless... Alright, are we sending gears in there? We are not. Let's send... Oh, we should make gears actually in here. Stop it. We make metal blocks. We don't make gears in there. Interesting. So, alright. Let's send gears for you. Gear, okay, I'll also keep, actually change this one and change distribution capacity for gear, let's keep 10. There we go. So then we don't like just have an oversupply of gears, but we still have it when we need it. This one detonates, oh, hold on. We need to open this one. And then I need to open this one as well. So we can actually get water in here to fill the river. That's why I feel like we need to deepen this river. That'd be a huge job if we do that, but we could, we could definitely do that. Oh yeah, this will take a while. I might actually need to do this just to go a little bit faster <laughs> just in case uh, there you go a lot of water flowing through I left it open I left this open and yeah we just need water to flow through there it's just like one day left so we might be alright to be honest let me Close this as well. Could leave this as 0.5, so we would always have water in there. But although, like, I don't want that, I'll close this one off. We have enough water here to finish the drop. That's fantastic. And this one, so I might get you a bit, little bit more water, a little bit faster as well. And again. And then we stop it. So as you can see, we still have a lot of water in here. So that's not a problem. We can definitely use that water and the drop will finish and we would be good. Now, well, I thought it would take us a long time, but I'll do this just before we finish this episode. And there we go. And then we have new pathway over there. And I'll do the same thing over here. And then we will build this and this. Oh, I love this idea. I just love it. I think it will be a great addition for us. But yeah, that'll be it for today. I think we've extended this quite a lot and I didn't plan to do a long episode like this one, but it happened. So I hope you would really enjoy it because it was fun. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for, um, all the comments that you left in previous episodes and let me know if you want to see anything or especially if you want me to start a new colony or with the new updates or keep working on this one and well hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye bye